Talking about motorcycle modifications, stroke up and bore up are one type of modification that is often done to improve motorcycle performance. But are bore up and stroke up the same or not? Well, in this video, we will discuss bore up and stroke up in depth. So, watch this video till the end. But wait, let's do a quick intro first. So, between bore up and stroke up, there are similarities and differences. The similarity is that both are ways to modify the engine by increasing the engine capacity. So, both bore up and stroke up are techniques to increase the capacity of a standard engine. The difference is, bore up will increase the diameter of the cylinder, while stroke up will increase the length of the engine cylinder. So, in other words, bore up will make the engine cylinder profile wider, while stroke up will make the engine cylinder profile longer. Well, these two things have very different impacts on engine performance. Bore up with a wider cylinder profile increases the cylinder volume with a fixed piston stroke. As a result, engine power will increase. This will allow the vehicle to run at a higher top speed. When we decide to bore up the engine, we will first be given the option of an oversized piston. This oversized piston is a piston that is made similar to the original piston, but has a larger diameter. From 1 mm oversize to 3.5 mm oversize. After that, the cylinder will be turned to fit the size of the new piston. From here, the cylinder enlargement will occur. The enlargement of the cylinder volume will suck more material into the engine. So, there needs to be an adjustment to the cylinder head. One of them is widening the combustion chamber in the cylinder head. This is done so that the top of the piston does not hit the side of the combustion chamber. In addition, the enlargement of the combustion chamber is also done to accommodate the compressed combustion material, the volume of which has increased due to bore up. So, the combustion will also cause a greater explosion effect. So it makes sense that the power increases. Then for stroke up is the addition of cylinder length. So the calculation of cylinder volume is calculated based on the cylinder diameter and piston stroke length. The piston stroke length is calculated when the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. Stroke up will increase the distance from top dead center to bottom dead center. The effect is that the piston stroke will be longer even with a fixed diameter. This is done by shifting the big end pin on the crankshaft so that it is away from the axis of rotation. This shift makes the crank turning radius wider, so the piston's up and down stroke will be longer. Of course, if calculated, this will increase the volume of material entering the cylinder. But, unlike bore up, which power increases compared to stroke up, which is not too significant. Why is that? The power from combustion certainly increases. However, with a wider turning radius on the crank, it makes the maximum speed limited. Because the piston stroke is also longer, so much combustion energy is spent on moving the piston. However, the torque of the engine that has been stroked up actually increases significantly. So, stroke up is actually intended to increase engine torque so that it can operate under heavy loads such as carrying excess loads, or for climbing, while bore up is done to increase engine power, so that maximum speed can be increased. But still, from the benefits provided, bore up or stroke up motors are not suitable for everyday use. The first one is clearly more wasteful, because the addition of CC certainly increases its fuel consumption. Secondly, the durability of the engine components is also reduced. When the engine is bored up, it makes the cylinder liner thinner. And we know, in the cylinder combustion occurs. So the risk of engine failure is greater. That's the information about bore up and stroke up. Hopefully it can increase our insight. Thanks for watching.